Controversy continues. The beefsteak mushroom. I will stand by my last video that the false morel is poisonous. Don't eat it. Some, even some sites that I researched called it the beefsteak morel. Okay, I will stand by that video and say don't eat it. Just don't eat it. If there's a chance of toxin, don't eat it. But I seen recently on a group a guy posted some of these very same mushrooms as beefsteaks for people to eat. And I quote, I'm a morel guy, I don't eat these. Who wants them? Where people then people start, yeah, I do, I want beefsteak mushrooms, you know. If you aren't willing to eat it, don't pick it. And don't be giving it to somebody else. That's just the way I believe. Uh, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know. I mean, they might not have ever seen a beefsteak mushroom in their life, and you're just giving it to them. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't even pick these for my friend. All right, and he's probably a little angry about that, but I don't care. If I'm not willing to eat it, I'm not going to pick it for somebody else. Period. That's just the way it is. Now, the beefsteak mushroom. I posted it again about this video and I had somebody else tell me, a, a good friend of mine, cousin, twice removed kind of thing, <laughs> uh, you know, family, and uh, said that ain't a beefsteak mushroom. So, you know, here we go again. I'm like, and that's what I mean. Every place is different. It's, it's, it's crazy. What do you do? He gave me a website, and I went there and checked it out, and it had some really good information. I'll put that website up there, but I can tell you what it is. It's Missouri's Department of Conservation's website. Mo.govs. You know, mdc.mo.gov, I think. Anyway, I'll put that up here. This is a picture of the mushroom that he said was a beefsteak mushroom. And I'm going to show you. This right here is the beefsteak mushroom. Polypore. It's a thick, semicircular, reddish or rusty, gelatinous, bracketed with pinkish yellow underside. This is the bottom too, just in case you want to know. Grows at the ba base of live oaks and stumps. <laughs> now, common sense will get you a long ways outdoors. Uh, I believe that. L use common sense. When I seen those false morels out there, or beef heart, or beef steak, whatever people are calling them, I didn't want to eat it. I just looked at it and just didn't want to eat it. Uh, it just didn't look appetizing to me. That's common sense. Kicking in. Secondly, sure didn't look like no beef steak. This mushroom here, that right there, that picture looks kind of like a beef steak thickness of the steak I like about the same size same color I like mine rare so to me it just makes sense that that is a true beefsteak mushroom and that one's edible and very good from what I hear so as a new mushroomer do the research it's taken me a few weeks to get this down and this is the way it is for me and that's that's the only way it's going to be I'm not going to eat a false morel I don't care what name it goes by if there's a slight chance I can get sick always cook the mushroom always when you're starting out try a little bit of it you don't know what could be in there that someone's allergic to never give it to somebody else always remember that when you're looking for edible mushrooms a general rule is if it has gills don't eat it if it, you look underneath the cap and there's gills and it's a wild outdoor do not eat it that's just something to go by uh, I hope 
I've cleared things up for anybody that maybe I've confused or is confused about this. This is why people do not teach mushrooms that I know. Uh, some around the cabin guys I've been talking to, they won't even go with there. They won't even teach people about them because there's just so chan many chances of misidentification. And even online, it's there's a, so many misidentified mushrooms that it's unbelievable. So, use common sense. Check this website out. And go to your local web, you know, hopefully your local site in the state you're in will have the same kind of thing. Check it out. Always research. There's nothing wrong with not knowing something. Okay, there's a lot of things in this world I don't know, and I am okay with that. I will admit it. But there's a lot of things I'd like to learn. And I'm going to research it. And, you know, I'd I like to thank everybody that's helped me out with this. Uh, David Harper. First comment on that picture was, don't eat it. It's poisonous. It's, you know, beefsteak, whatever. But I'm not even going to call those beefsteak mushrooms because, A, they don't look like a beefsteak, and, B, they have a name. It's called false morel. Hope this clears things up. Be safe out there. Use common sense, and you'll have a good time, and you'll be all right. And do not take mushrooms from somebody that you don't know or that's just handing them out, claiming they're this or claiming they're that. Always check them out. Hey, God bless y'all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Two inches of total cut. 100% steel construction. Exit broadheads, better by design. To get your hands on some exit broadheads, visit our online store, or go to www.exitbroadheads.com. Be sure to join Team Wild for the Outdoors at the 2014 Camo Outdoor Expo, held at the MSSU Leggett & Platt Center, August 16th and 17th, near Joplin, Missouri. Once again, brought to you by the Camo Crew. For tons more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Wild for the Outdoors. You can also see them at www.wildfortheoutdoors.com, and be sure to visit our online store. And don't forget to go to Facebook, like us, share us with your friends, and hey, remember, it's your God-given duty to manage this land.